Hi, and welcome to the show. I'm uh, uh, watching my. Going on vacation for two weeks. I'm gonna visit Montenegro and Dubrovnik. You know the place they film Game of Thrones. <laughs> Not a big deal. But I've made an Instagram page at Three Minutes John, where you can follow me and you can see what I'm doing in those two weeks. Anywho, hi again, and welcome to Three Minutes John. And now the news. Flash news. YouTube's website now supports vertical videos without black bars, and they will replace them with white bars. Why? Because that's the only thing YouTube needed to be perfect, right? <laughs> Everything else is it's gray. It's gray. It's gray. It's not gray. It is. It's, 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 it's gray. Why is YouTube going with this stupid trend? And the people that support this say that this is the future and that flipping your phone is an effort. What kind of f***ing flops are you if this is an effort for you? Don't get me wrong, I'm a lazy person, but this is not an effort. Or did you mean flipping off your phone? Nope, still not an effort. Android users can now get dark mode on the YouTube app. Woohoo! Yay! So you made the black bars white and the white interface black. Good for you! You're now better than perfect. You're perfect perfect. Some photos of the Google Pixel 3 leaked and it's ugly as f***. If you want the bezel-less display from Google this year, you can forget about it because the Google Pixel 3 has a huge chin at the bottom that reminds me of Popeye. <laughs> and a big ass notch on that OLED display that looks like an old lady saggy boob. So you can call that display OLSB. <laughs> Samsung released three new Ingenies videos mocking the iPhone X again. I can't, I mean, god, it... <sighs> Instead of watching this pitiful attempt to mock Apple, you can watch me doing push-ups. 98, 99, 100, oh my god, I'm so strong. Oh, that was totally not fake. Samsung's flexible and unbreakable display. Speaking of the Korean devil, last week there was a new video released by the Samsung Display Channel and presented a brand new OLED display that has a plastic cover window that protects the display from breaking. And after a short introduction in Korean, they tested by pounding the panel with a hammer. And after a few bangs, the panel is fine. Now, before you rejoice and think that this is the future, you can't wait to have this on your phone. Samsung is the best. Oh my god. John is going on a vacation. Hooray for John. <laughs> Let's go through some facts. First of all, that's not an actual hammer, that's a rubber mallet. So it's way more softer than a steel hammer. Second, we don't actually see the display working not before nor after the impact. So we don't really know that's a real functioning display. It could easily be a sheet of black plastic. It is a conspiracy. Third, why do you think the manufacturers use glass instead of plastic when making display panels? Well, that's because plastic scratches worse than a dog with fleas. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And don't even get me started with the cheap and sucky production of this video. I mean, come on, Samsung. A company that makes hundreds of billions of dollars makes a video that looks like it was filmed and edited by a squirrel. Why a squirrel, you ask? Because squirrels don't know how to make videos. They just like to eat nuts. We don't know when or if this type of OLED display will be used on a Samsung device, but let's hope it's for real and Samsung will make it and it won't break, it won't scratch, it will be great. Everybody wants an unbreakable, unscratchable display on their phones because all the Gorilla Glass versions cannot handle the most common enemy of the screen. The concrete. Oh, and the final message of the video is plastic window is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I, that is quality marketing right there. <laughs> Jesus. Huawei is trying to beat Samsung at foldable phones. We talked before about Samsung's upcoming Galaxy X foldable phone, which it appears it might be called the Galaxy F. Why? F 
fuck knows. Anywho, it appears that Huawei is trying to become the first manufacturer to make a foldable smartphone, thus breaking Samsung's balls and its unbreakable display. This rumor comes from an industry analyst that says the device might be limited to 20 30,000 units and it will be made mainly to demonstrate Huawei's technology capabilities. And the rumor is backed by the patent Huawei field at the end of last year that shows a foldable device with a flexible display. We don't know when Huawei is planning to release the smartphone, but they really want to beat Samsung to it, which is rumored to release the Galaxy X or F by the end of next year. Also, Apple might make a foldable iPhone by 2020. Also, Motorola. Also, ZTE. Also, my grandma might make one. She likes to fold things. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Next week, because I'm gonna be on vacation, we'll have a bloopers episode. And the week after, we'll have... I, I don't know if we'll have anything. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Why am I talking about we? Anyway, in two weeks, I'll be back with fresh news from my vacation. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram. I'm John Ron. Until next time, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. And now we can see Samsung going in first, followed by Apple in the foldable smartphone race. And on third, we have DDE. Samsung looking good, and I think it might just win. But, but wait! Wait, what's this? It appears that out of nowhere, Huawei is catching up, and it's incredible, ladies and gentlemen. The race is already Huawei! Huawei is first! Huawei wins! And nobody cares, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody gives a f about this race. Don't forget to subscribe to 3 Minute John, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. John out.